nine two Xavier on top in the top of the sixth of that game. The one two pitch cold strike three a breaking ball and Margulis frozen with the second shoreline golf course strikeout by Mitch Reagan. No balls, two strikes, two out, runner at first, no score here in the second. Reagan's pitch, and it's another called strike three, another breaking ball that paints it. And it's three shoreline golf course strikeouts. So one hit, one left through an inning and a half. Villanova and Creighton are scoreless on 16-20 the zone. A couple times and not gotten that call. The 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball, looping, pop up behind first in a nice play in foul ground by Jake Holton, tracking it down like a wide receiver. Same with Ty Block. One and two, the pitch, swing and a miss, and a one, two, three, very quick inning for Mitch Reagan, his fourth shoreline golf course strikeout. Two and a half are complete, still zeros in the run column on 16-20 the zone. They've blossomed a little bit. We've got a little thunderstorm cell just between Fremont and North Bend. He went around and applying the tag is David Ilchis. Another shoreline golf course strikeout, the fifth of the night on Jack Strunts. 0 for 1 tonight. He flew out to center field his first time up. And a ground ball back up the middle is going to make its way through for a base hit. One out single for Jack Strunts. And here's Jordan Hovey. And I thought, okay, if he just keeps doing it, eventually Kings Bear is going to miss the zone because that's what he's done all night. Swing and a miss. And McNary just retreating to the dugout. I think actually Bill just had to touch him, but once he took a step towards the dugout, it was done. Another shoreline golf course strikeout. And another good breaking ball from Mitch Ray. Parker Upton leads from second. Ground ball, left side, and it's through for a base hit. They're going to send Parker up to it. There will not be a play at the plate and taking second on the throw is Jake Holton. Great base running by Holton, an RBI single. It's one nothing Blue Jays. This is where the power of Jake Holton helps the Blue Jays. It was a late start from second by Upton. And many times you'll see Ed Service throw up the stop sign because the runner at second didn't get a great break. But because it's Jake Holton at the plate. Uh, Will Robertson is Holton dances away from second. Ground ball right side. That's a base hit. They are going to send Holton. There may be a play. No, it gets away from the right fielder. No play at home. In to score is Holton. Robertson advances to second. And it is two nothing Blue Jays. On the RBI single by Will Robertson. Well, this is a team that is rife with errors. And Ed Service is going to be aggressive with his base running this weekend. And even though Jake Holton has just average speed. Ahead in the count, 1-0. Hit pretty well. Going back on it. There's Rotondo still running, still going, still going off the base of the wall. An RBI double for Jordan Hovey. And it's 3-0 Blue Jays. He absolutely crushes this pitch. The home runs that leave the yard usually leave the yard outside of the power alleys. But this one on the fly hits the CHI health sign, which is the last advertised. Ryan Tours is the hitter. One, two, swing and a miss. Shoreline golf course strikeout. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Back-to-back -back Ks. One ball and two strikes. Struck out the side. All three swinging. Nine on the night for Mitch Ray. Ground ball back up the middle and ranging is the shortstop. The throw is late though. Nice play by McNary to get the ball behind the bag at second, but Hannafin who runs well beats it out for an infield single. Yeah, just a little slow roller up the middle. It was going to be a tough play no matter what. It once. It Villanova looking for that double play ball. Won't get it to walk. 4-1 Blue Jays. Bill Chess with an RBI walk. In to score comes Will Robertson. At the plate and the pitch. Grounded. Left side. That's through for a base hit. One run is in. Grounding and coming home is Jordan Hovey. The throw will go to second. 
And there's a big two out bases loaded base hit by Will Hannafield. It's six to one Blue Jays. Zach Lutner's pitch is a fastball hit well deep into left back on the track and that ball is gone. Jake Holton daytime nighttime left field right field does it matter his 13th of the year and it's 8-1 Blue Jays it smells like there's more coming second and third nobody out and here's one ripped to center this will bring home the run Rotundo makes the catch tagging and scoring the throw will come to third and no-brainer, but that one towards the left center made it much more difficult. Oh. Here's a bomb hit by David Vilches, and that one is long gone. My goodness, David Vilches says, I can do you one better, Jay Colton. That one was absolutely massacred I didn't even see where it landed but it, it went further than Jake's uh, it landed in 128 about halfway up and I honestly thought the way that that was hit it was gonna land on the walkway it was so high and you knew it was gone immediately Wow let me find this here where I was reading this this afternoon pitches in the dirt and now they got the runner hung up Hannafin between first and second and they're not going to get him. They misplayed the rundown. The ball was in the dirt. The throw went down to first. They had Hannafin caught between first and second. And then there was miscommunication between the second baseman and the shortstop. The throw went to O'Neill. O'Neill was out of line to make the tag.